All right, so it's been a while since my last review, uh, but I am proud to present the Durkin Wireless Earbuds. Uh, these kind of feel like the idea of the AirPods vibe. Uh, just by taking a look at this, we can note that, you know, the two Air, uh, earbuds, not AirPods, uh, fit inside this case, which is supposed to be like a charging case, just like the AirPods do. So I'm thinking these are going to be pretty good. Uh, we're going to test them out. We're going to do a bunch of different things. Let's just open it up, see what's inside first, and then... Uh, yeah, we'll move forward. So, let's see what we get inside. I always struggle with this little piece, but we'll get there. There we go. All right, so, what we get inside? Let's peek in the bottom. Ah, yes, there are goodies inside. All right. So, uh, taking a look, we got a bunch of the little rubber uh, nubs that go with it, and a micro USB charger, and we also got a manager, so uh, manual, so we can take a look at that just to see, you know, what's inside here, you know, what it talks about, all the instructions and things like that. So I think this should be good. If you want to read it, you can go ahead and give it a pause. And on the other side, a little bit more as well. Again, if you want to read it, just make sure you pause it. And yeah. Let's get to the actual product. All right, so nice little plastic packaging. Now, one thing that I'm noticing is this is actually very, very light. Like, you know, you'd imagine this to be pretty heavy. It is not. So I think that's a good thing. Uh, let's see. So looks like we have a little button here. I'm not sure what the button does. Well, we'll have to find out later. I think I just turned them on. And these are the actual earbuds. Uh, these are kind of small, but they're nice. There's a click to them, so I'm thinking each of them has a click. They say with their left or right, and then we can plug them in to this. So as you can see, the red light looks like it's charging. Uh, we had blue light as well. I'm not sure what they do yet. I'm going to have to consult the manual, but these feel pretty good. There's a little bit of a magnetic grip to them, so once you drop them in place, they uh, snap into place. The feel is good. Got a little wrist strap if you want to carry it around, and I'm thinking this power button is to charge it. So, I mean, I have to do my research. I have to take a look to see what each of these things talk about and how they work, but overall, first impressions of this are pretty sweet. Like, I'm not gonna lie. These are cool. So, uh, yeah, we'll see, uh, where that goes after I play around with them for a little bit. We'll do some tests. Uh, I'm gonna just put them in. I'm gonna shake my head. I'm gonna try going running with them. We'll talk about audio quality, we'll talk about connectivity, and, uh, you know, a lot of different things of how these work. So, first impressions, awesome. So, we'll dive into uh, after I play around with them a little bit. Alright, so after using these for an entire weekend and just kind of playing around with them and stuff, these are awesome. Like, they're really, really cool. Um, I'm very impressed with them, honestly. Uh, one of the other things that I noticed is a lot of companies, like, they like to brand their stuff. These don't have much on them, so it's kind of a nice thing. Like, it's kind of nice just having earbuds that do earbuds things that don't, you know, focus on slapping their name on everything. Uh, you know, playing around with them, uh, I think I used them for like an hour, hour and a half, and wasn't even close to uh, running out of battery on the headphones without even having to pop them in here. Uh, another couple things, I was on a train for about an hour and a half. Uh, I used them, held them on, you know, wore them for like 45 minutes to an hour, constantly in use, and then when I was done with them, I just threw them in here, and it worked out pretty nice. So, uh, overall, these are awesome. Uh, these are really neat. There's a couple pieces of criticism I do have to put out there, here and there, and I still have to do the running test, which I intend to do probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go for a run and see if they, you know, hold in my ears, and, you know, if running, a little bit of sweat, and things like that really work with them. Uh, but they're awesome. The one thing that I have to give a little bit of criticism is this kind of looks like one of those vaporizer devices, and I'm not sure if I want to be having that appearance. Uh, you know, I can always just, like, leave it in my bag or something like that, but it's just kind of one of those things that, as a teacher, I really don't want to look like I'm carrying around a vaporizer device, because I don't really partic uh, participate in any of those things. Um, but, yeah, it's... A pretty awesome product and the only other thing that I really wanted to bring up was I tried making a couple phone calls in them because these are so small and isolated to your ears you really do want to make sure that you speak up 
Um, you know, because when you talk, you're talking away from these devices, and it's not something that's particular about these products particularly. It is for almost every set of ear pods or anything that basically can't take a mic and dangle it closer to your mouth. Uh, you know, you may notice on a regular set of earbuds that you have that little rectangular microphone in it. That's how you talk to people. They had to put that there instead of putting the mic in the actual earbuds. So just a few things to keep in mind. Uh, again, I really do like these. Uh, one thing that I think I may have to do at some point is clean these little tiny metal contacts a little bit. Uh, hasn't happened yet, so I'm not worried about them now, but that may be something that happens a little bit later on down the road. So, uh, yeah, aside from that, though, these things are awesome. I have a few more areas of test that I need to do, and then after that I'll give my final thoughts and uh, we'll see how my ultimate review or my final conclusions lie. All right, so after first realizing that I am horribly, horribly out of shape, um, whew, uh, these earbuds are amazing. Like, I ran for about 30, 40 minutes already, built up a bunch of sweat, lots of shaking. These will not fall out under any circumstance. Uh, they are secure. Now, whew, I'm really out of shape. But anyway, uh, comedy aside from that, these fit great. You got to get the right, uh, the rubber plungers that go in that fit your ears. Most people just use the default one. Try them all, shake your head violently, see if you can get them to fall out like on a bed or something. So you don't end up like damaging them or anything. But uh, yeah, these are great. So another thing is I have like a running fanny pack kind of thing, which, um, you know, it's great for just holding my phone and everything while I run. But if you turn it to certain sides, you can move behind you. You run the chance of like cutting off the Bluetooth connection, which didn't happen. Uh, I noticed a slight switching, but it was so tiny I didn't really even notice it unless I was trying to listen for it. And what I suspect is both of these are connected, and whichever one gets the best signal it switches to as like the host, and then it repeats the concept to the other one. So it's really cool. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this, honestly. These are great. These are going to be my running headphones and. Just something I'm gonna throw in a bag if I ever need to throw in headphones to just like discreetly listen to something or uh, you know just have them to use for whatever. So yeah, uh, we got some wrapping up final comments I'll do when I get back. But I have a run to finish now, and we'll see just, uh, we'll see just how out of shape I am. All right, so wrapping up with some final comments. These earbuds are amazing. Uh, I've played around with them for about a week. I put them through some pretty tough and intense stuff. Uh, you know, I went running with them. I tried to kill the battery. Uh, by the way, these lasted, like, longer than I could feasibly, like, try to kill their battery. So, uh, battery life is amazing. You drop them back in, they start charging, as you can see. Uh, you know, the case is nice. It's very sturdy. Like, I cannot break or, like, damage this. So, like, I know if I throw these in the bottom of a suitcase or something, they're going to be fine. Um, you know, it's great. The micro USB is good. I would have loved USB-C, but we're not quite there yet in terms of, like, mobile accessories and whatnot. And honestly, anybody who carries around mobile devices is always going to have one of those, uh, different types of chargers or, you know, at least a cable on hand. So, uh, and even if not, the life you're going to get out of these is phenomenal. Like, by the time you have to, like, sit down and recharge and, like, work on that, you'll have encountered someone or somewhere where you could charge them really quick. So, yeah, uh, these are great. If you're looking for AirBuds or AirPods or uh, they're not the, technically the Apple ones, but I don't know, AirBuds is what I've been calling them, EarBuds. I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Uh, these are awesome, and they fit nice. They contour your ears quite nicely. You know, it's a really nice ergonomic shape, and uh, yeah. The other thing, last minute, is uh, for me, I have a lot of earwax that builds up, so these aren't really grabbing a lot of it, but when they do, they actually get like kind of dropped off into here if you, uh, you know, let them sit and the earwax kind of dries out and flakes off. So really a quick, uh, you know, <laughs> a blow into them to clean them, and that stuff flies right out, or if not, a Q-tip is ready to go into there. So... You know, just another nice result of good design. So, yeah, anyway, that is the Durkin AirBuds, AirPods, EarBuds, wireless, uh, you know, little docking earbuds that exist. And they're amazing. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to purchase it if you're so inclined. You want to get a set for you or somebody else that you know. 
And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, toss them in the comments section and I'll be sure to give them an answer. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. This is Brian Viduk signing out. Thank you for watching.